Special guest. Your name is Greg. Are, are you are you a petite garçon or petite bill? Okay, he's Greg is a little girl. Now look at this. Greg learned how to walk inside Omniverse. Obeying the laws of physics. And by inside Omniverse, we created hundreds of thousands of scenarios. Then finally, when Greg learned how to operate and walk and manipulate in those environments on sand and on, you know, on gravel, on slippery floors, on concrete, on carpet. Then when it comes, when Greg comes into the physical world, the physical world is just 100,001 version of the world. And so you learn how to walk in the virtual world and look at you now. Can you, can you jump? Wow. Can you dance? Well, I think, I think, um, I just want to let you know, I am the keynote presenter. So I need you, I need you to behave, I need you to behave for a few seconds. I need you to behave for a few, could you sit? Sit. Hey, you know what we should do? Let's take a picture of everybody. Yeah. Bam, bam. Would you like to come home with me? Would you like to come home with me? I got pets. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I have pets. They would like to have you as a pet. No? No. <laughs> You're so smart. You're so smart. Well, incredible, right? You are the world's best robot, and someday we'll all have one like you, and they'll follow us around. But if I need, if I need a glass of whiskey, you're going to have to go tell somebody else to go get me a glass of whiskey because you have no arms. Yeah, you're so cute. Okay, little girl, you stay here for a second. Let's wrap up. <clears throat> All right, it's very clear, it's very clear an industrial revolution has started. The next, the next waves of AI has started. Greg is a perfect example of what's possible now with robotics. The technology necessary to teach a robot, to manipulate, to simulate, and of course, the manifestation of an incredible robot is now right in front of us. We have physical robots, and we have information robots. We call them agents. So the next wave of AI has started. It's going to require inference workloads to explode. It's basically going to go exponential. The number of people that are using inference has gone from 8 million to 800 million, 100 times in just a couple of years. The, number, the amount of prompts that the tokens generate, as I mentioned earlier, from a few hundred tokens to thousands of tokens. And of course, we use AI even more than, than ever today. So we need a special computer designed for thinking, designed for reasoning, and that's what Blackwell is, a thinking machine. These Blackwells will go into new types of data centers, essentially AI factories, designed for one thing and one thing only. 
And these AI factories are going to generate tokens. And these tokens are going to become your food, little Greg. Yeah, I know. I know. And what's really, really incredible, I'm so happy to see that Europe is going all in on AI. The amount of AI infrastructure being built here will increase by an order of magnitude in the next couple of years. I want to thank all of you for your partnership. Have a great Viva Tech. Thank you. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Take a bunch of pictures. Take a bunch of pictures. Take a bunch of pictures. Yeah?